Sheikh, if an agnostic who has been studying Islam for many, many years and now very close to accept Islam, however, he feels majority Muslims don't know Islam properly, don't study Islam, some of them even doing innovations. So he wishes to correct them, enlighten them by providing your videos or other Sheikh's lectures. Is there anything wrong in it? And can Muslims accept that as long as he is providing authentic sources? Jazakallah. Well, Jazakum. First of all, such an agnostic person must not care about others before caring about himself. All what he's doing is going down the drain. Allah will not reward him for that because he himself is not a believer. It's like a carpenter who fixes people's doors and windows while his own home, his door and windows are broken. It doesn't make any sense. As for the people who are on the receiving end, if the material comes to them from a sheikh, a student of knowledge, or an atheist or an agnostic person, they don't accept what they see without filtering it and trying to figure out whether it coincides and goes in line with the Quran and Sunnah or not. If it does, Alhamdulillah, it doesn't matter who gave it to you. As in the hadith of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, when he, over three nights, used to catch someone trying to steal from the treasury of the Muslims. And he let him be. And the Prophet every day tells him after Fajr, he is a liar and he will come back. So the second day and the third day, the third day he did not let him go. He said, I'll report you to the Prophet ﷺ. So he told him, let me free, let me go, set me loose and I will tell you something that if you say it, you will be protected from the devils. And he told him about Ayatul Kursi. When he prayed Fajr with the Prophet ﷺ, Abu Huraira told him, because the Prophet said, Abu Huraira, what did your prisoner do last night? He said, he told me, I'll teach you a verse of the Quran. I'll teach you something that would protect you from the devils and the jinn. And he read Ayat al-Kursi. The Prophet said to him, he had told you the truth, though he's a blatant liar. So the Prophet did not say, no, 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 no. Reject whatever he said to you because he's a liar. Rather, he accepted it, yet pointing out that he's a liar. Similarly, this agnostic person, if he sends good materials and good lectures that you can benefit from, no problem in that, and Allah knows best.